How did our ancestors celebrate Christmas? That depended on their cultural heritage and historical era, but for some, the holiday was especially meaningful. For instance, Lorenzo Lafayette Hatch was born on Christmas Day. It was also the holiday on which his parents Sylvia and Lorenzo met a couple years prior. Sarah Jane Hooper Jensen was born on Christmas Eve and Stephen Robert Wells on Boxing Day right after. Another couple, Elizabeth Heiner and Thomas Grover also met at a friend's Christmas gathering. Two of our British pioneers were known for their Christmas delicacies. Elizabeth Fox made a flaming plum pudding and Rebecca Rogers her Yorkshire pudding. Aza Calkin missed Christmas dinner once and John Cottam had a sad Christmas in jail, so I won't go into those details. Or when Grandfather Welch had a snowy car crash and Christmas gifts were stolen out of his car. But Thomas Grover generously delivered 10 and 20 pound gifts of meat for neighbors' Christmas dinners. And Annie Scarborough Hatch liked to select, wrap, and send Christmas gifts. A feature her granddaughter, Unita, and her granddaughter, Anita, carried on. The Hatch family in Scipio celebrated Christmas in a big way, with feasts and plays and dancing. Our ancestors sent Christmas cards, gathered with family, and made memories together that continue in today's traditions. My grandma Kramer Anna recollected the holidays of her youth in rural Scipio in the early 20th century. She wrote, Mother received a carpet sweeper one year. Our usual gifts were candy, an orange, an apple, a harmonica, or crayons. I recall a beautiful Christmas tree that reached the ceiling. Father and the boys went to the side hills to get it. We strung popcorn, raw berries, had tinsel, and clipped on candles. Father always held the smallest child to blow out the candles. We couldn't come downstairs until Father had first called out, Christmas gift! Of course, we were awake hours before. With 11 family members, it was quite an event to open gifts. We also got new dresses twice a year that Mother sewed, on 4th of July and Christmas time. Mother would also give gifts of pork roasts to her Salt Lake friends for Christmas. Anna and Wally enjoyed gifts of a calendar and a nativity from their missionary son in Germany. Grandmother Welch might have been our most festive ancestor. She loved to decorate, wrap gifts, collect nativities, make holiday magic, and created a gingerbread cookie tradition that has endured for decades. Your Grandma Kramer loved getting new dolls as a girl. We've had nearly a half century of Christmas pajamas and dad has always loved Christmas stockings. Now we have villages and the Wells Nativity, candlelight Christmas and wise men traditions to add. But as they have in ages past, the herald angels still sing glory to the newborn king and those who are wise still seek him. Merry Christmas.